Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here with another video. Um, yep, I just finished the video for Kansas State, and now it's time to the next Big 12 schedule preview video. And yes, of course, we're talking TCU, the team that had one of the most an incredibly bad 2021 season to having perhaps the greatest turnaround in the history of college football and without a doubt one of the greatest seasons in school history. Playing Georgia for the national championship. What a year for TCU. So, asking them to repeat that season is asking an incredible lot that I don't think they could do. Uh, I'm not going to rule anything out because you never say never about anything. But I look at this and we're going to do this same thing as we did with the other schedule preview videos. For those of you who haven't watched this before, <clears throat> excuse me. We do, I do the non conference games, the three non conference games, last season and this season, compare the two, decide which one's tougher. And then we do the, I do a full schedule review of this past season with scores, and then a preview of this season, and we decide which one's tougher. Now, anything involving championship games or college football playoff, those don't count because we count regular season only when we compare schedules, okay? So, who are the three non-conference games that they had last season? Well, they had Colorado, Tarleton State, and SMU. One Power Five, one Group of Five, one FCS. This season, they have Colorado, Nickel State, and SMU. One Power Five, one Group of Five, one FCS. So, Last season, though, this season, all three conference games are at home. Colorado, Nickel State, and SMU. Last season, Colorado and SMU were on the road. Now, B, that was 1-11 Colorado. That's still playing them on the road. Now, you got Dion in their first year this year. Is SMU going to be good? I'm saying because it was on the road last season, I'm saying last season was a tougher non-conference schedule than this season. But you let me know down in the comments what you think about this. So now let's talk about the entire schedule in its entirety for this miraculous season that TCU had last year. All right, week one against at Colorado, one of 38 to 13. We all know they went undefeated in the regular season. And considering where the bye week was, I mean, they're at Colorado, home against Tarleton State, won 59-17. Then they got the bye. So they played 10 straight games. That's tough. At SMU, 142-34. Home against Oklahoma, 155-24. I believe. At Kansas, 138-31. That was surprising. It was close. Home against Oklahoma State, 143-40 in double overtime. Home against Kansas State, 138-28. At West Virginia, 141-31. Home against Texas Tech, 134-24. A lot of 10-pointers are you noticed. At Texas, 117-10. At Baylor, 129-28. That could have been real bad, they, but Baylor just they just they couldn't get over it. Home against Iowa State, one sixty-two to fourteen. The Big Twelve Championship game, their undefeated season came to an end when they lost to Kansas State, thirty-one to twenty-eight in overtime. But as we know, they went to the college football playoff in the first round, the semifinal. They beat Michigan, fifty-one to forty-five, in an incredible game. And then the bottom fell out, and the worst beatdown in college football playoff championship game history in the national championship lost to Georgia 65 to 7 yikes so this season who are they playing home against Colorado home against Nichols State at Houston home against SMU home against West Virginia at Iowa State Home against BYU. We've seen the fact that they're trying to ban BYU fans from showing up. Give it up. BYU fans, they, I was in Vegas, they tried to ban them there. SC tried to, It's not going to work. They're travel. They go everywhere. You want to stop them show up? Buy all the tickets. Buy all the tickets out so they don't have any to buy. And make sure no scalpers get them. In other words, it's not going to happen. But anyway, home against BYU and then at Kansas State in the rematch from the conference championship game for last season. Then you get your bye. And you want to talk about four coming? You've already played eight games. You get the bye week to rest. You're four coming out of the bye. At Texas Tech, home against Texas, home against Baylor, and finish the season on the road in Norman at Oklahoma. That's a 
Final Four. Wow. Um, so look at the key five opponents here for this schedule. Their key five would be Baylor, Texas, Texas Tech, Kansas State, and Kansas, because they don't play Oklahoma State this year. To me, I correct myself. Me, I correct myself. Texas, Texas Tech, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma. I forgot they have they have Oklahoma on their schedule this year. So in those games, against like Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, uh, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, Texas and Kansas State. Oklahoma was at home. Oklahoma State was at home. Kansas State was at home. Texas Tech was at home. Texas was on the road. Four of the five at home. Needless to say, at Kansas State, at Texas Tech. Actually, you know what? Home against Baylor. At Oklahoma. Wait a minute. Oklahoma's on the road. Texas Tech is on the road. Kansas State's on the road. They're missing a team here. They don't play K. Yeah, they do play K State. They're missing up here. I'm looking at the schedule. I'm missing up. Like Oklahoma was at home. Now on the road. Oklahoma State not playing them this year. That was my screw up. So it's Baylor, Texas, Texas Tech, K State, and Oklahoma. That's my screw up. Okay, my fault. So that means if you still, if you take out K-State and replace them with Baylor, that means three of the five were on the road. We're at home. Three of the five were at home. Because Baylor and Texas were on the road. Now they got Texas and Baylor on the road, but they got to travel to Texas Tech, they got to travel to K-State, and they got to finish the season at Oklahoma. So it's two out of five at home this year. Three road games in those key games. Now you look at the first eight, Colorado, this is going to be a Dion team. TCU should beat Colorado easily. This isn't a prediction video, but they should. Home against Nichols State, at Houston, home against SMU, home against West Virginia, we don't even know where their quarterback is, at Iowa State, home against BYU, at Kansas State. That little run, Iowa State, BYU, Kansas State, could be really, really interesting. Then they get the bye week, and then they have the, the fatal four, which is Texas Tech, Texas, Baylor, and Oklahoma to finish the year off. Um, I got to say this year's tougher. Last season's non-conference games were tougher because they were road games. But the overall schedule, it's a lot tougher this season. And a lot of the talent's not going to be there. And that poses a serious problem on the road at Norman. I mean, every one of these teams, except for Kansas State, that you played in conference last year, you beat. Every one of them is going to be looking for your head. So, can you follow this up? The odds are really up against you, up against you, and you're up against it, but I'm not saying any, it's impossible, because anything is possible. But, let me go down the counts what you think about this. Like I said, I think the non, like I said, well, let me know what you think in the comments. But first off, thanks everybody for watching the video. If you haven't done already, please smash the like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm, helps the video be seen by more people. I want you to comment on this video, please. Let me know what do you, non-conference games from last year or this year, which one's tougher, and the full schedule last year or this year, which one's tougher. Do that, subscribe to the channel. Almost at 400 subscribers, slowly but surely waking the way to 1,000 so we can finally get this channel to take off. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. I didn't get myself something to eat here because before I get ready to go to bed. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. I believe it's Wednesday today. Is it Wednesday today? One giant run on at this point. Yes, it's Wednesday. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Be safe out there, and please be good to each other.